2022 Mercedes AMG GLS class starting at $135,000 estimated. With a whopper of a twin-turbo V8 engine under its hood, the 2022 Mercedes-AMG GLS 63 kicks the performance of the standard GLS-class SUV up to an entirely new level. This hot rod has rivals such as the BMW X7 M50i and the Cadillac Escalade V-Series in its crosshairs. A sport-tuned air suspension is standard and spices up its over-the-road behavior, although it comes with a much stiffer ride. That's not to say the GLS 63 isn't luxurious. Its leather-lined cabin is finished with upscale materials, and it's both spacious and extremely comfortable, at least in the first two rows. A host of tech features come standard, and even more advanced items, such as a semi-autonomous driving mode, are available as options. The mighty GLS 63 is largely unchanged for 2022. We were worried it wouldn't happen at all this year due to supply chain issues that Mercedes reported were holding up production. But we've confirmed that the GLS 63 is back in business and ready to thrill your family with its 603 horsepower twin turbo V8. Although the GLS 63's starting price is deep into the six-figure realm, we'd still suggest a few options sure to please the whole family. For one thing, the warmth and comfort package is a nice bundle for those in northern climates, as it adds heated door panels, heated armrests, and a heated center console. We'd also suggest the energizing package which includes the in-cabin fragrance diffuser and the acoustic comfort package, and also adds increased cabin insulation for a quieter interior. Mercedes-AMG also offers a host of standalone features that may catch your eye, including the bonkers 23-inch multi-spoke forged wheels that look just perfect when framed within the GLS 63's muscular wheel wells. engine, transmission, and performance. Under the hood of the GLS 63 is a twin-turbocharged 4.0-liter V8 engine that makes a whopping 603 horsepower with the help of a 48-volt hybrid system. All-wheel drive is standard, as is a 9-speed automatic transmission and air suspension. We were blown away by the 2021 GLS 63's performance at our test track as it out-accelerated several hot sports cars we've tested recently, tearing off a blistering 3.6-second 0-60 mph run. For comparison, the old GLS 63, which made a mere 577 horsepower, managed a none too shabby 4.3 second 0 to 60 mile per hour run. As impressed as we were with the GLS's acceleration, we can't say the same for its driving dynamics. The ride is firm, especially on the optional 23-inch wheels, but that firmness doesn't translate to a feeling of precision when cornering. The GLS's body bobs across road undulations more than expected, though it still offers plenty of grip to have some fun with on a twisty road. Fuel economy and real-world MPG 
The EPA estimates that the GLS-63's fuel economy is a dismal 14 miles per gallon city and 18 miles per gallon highway. On our 200-mile highway fuel economy test route the GLS-63 delivered a decent 22 miles per gallon. The GLS-63's main rival, the BMW X7 M50i, managed 24 miles per gallon in the same test. For more information about the GLS class's fuel economy, visit the EPA's website. Interior, Comfort, and Cargo Three rows of seating and interior styling that's slightly sportier versus the Benz branded GLS class sets the GLS 63 apart from two row SUV powerhouses such as the BMW X5 M and the Audi RS Q8. Like those competitors, the GLS 63 is gorgeously appointed inside. Soft leather covers nearly every square inch of the cabin, and those areas that aren't leather wrapped are treated to genuine wood trim and tastefully applied chrome buttons and knobs are rendered in a rich-looking metallic finish. Front seat occupants can enjoy a massage while blasting down the interstate, and passenger space is generous in the second row, which can also be equipped with heated seats and power sunshades. The third row of seats is tight for adults, but perfectly suitable for children. Cargo space is the same as the standard GLS class, which in our testing fit for carry-on suitcases behind its third row and 30 in total behind the front seats. Infotainment and connectivity. The GLS 63 comes standard with the same dual-screen infotainment setup found in the non-AMG variant. Two 12.3-inch screens, nestled next to each other in a shared bezel, form the digital gauge display and center infotainment display. Mercedes-Benz's new MBUX interface can be controlled via voice, touchscreen, or with the click wheel mounted on the center console. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration is standard, as is a 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot.